Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's time to continue building the Ninjago City. We are up to level two, the street level, and this build just gets more and more interesting the more you build. We're up to bag number seven. As I said in the first video, there are 41 bags labeled up to 16, so we've got a lot to go now. So let's meet the minifigure that comes in this set. This is Severin Black. He is the crab chef, and he is wearing the most awesome new outfit, and he also gets a crab, which is convenient because he's the crab chef. He actually is brothers with the sushi chef who doesn't come in this set. He's actually from the blind bag series, but we'll incorporate him later on because there's actually a whole restaurant for his brother and they are serious rivals apparently. So let's build the crab kitchen for Severin and we'll make him happy. We'll give him somewhere to prepare his crabs and to serve them and cook them. Well, not in that order, to prepare them and cook them and serve them, that would be sensible. So let's get building, we already are, so. <laughs> we'll keep building. So the crab kitchen, we've got this little preparing area over here and we've got these drawers which have got some strange things in them, a gold banana and in this one uh, a yellow banana. All I can think is that they're cooked and uncooked crab claws, maybe? I actually don't know what those are. They just kind of look like bananas to me. So if you know, I would love you to tell me in the comments because I really have no clue. But we've currently now got our serving counter where I put a wrong piece on there. That's better. And we've got the chairs, the stools that the customers can sit on there to eat their crab. And now we need something to cook the crab. And this is so clever. <laughs> it's just brilliant. You're going to love it. And if you don't love it, well, then you, you must be dead inside. <laughs> How could you not love this? This is just so cool. So if I can get these on correctly, we now have got a part inside that spins around and you're going to find out how this feature works. Now we've got something outside the cooking implement there with a knob that we can turn and that spins what's inside. So a massive big roasting oven. Just put a few more pieces on and then we can install it in the kitchen. Look at that. And that spins and I've missed a piece over here. So we just need to put that on so that it all fits properly. There, spins around. Spins very freely at the moment. We've still got more to put on though. And I love this little serving window or just a window out the side to let the steam out. We'll sit, we'll sit Severin down with his crab while he waits. He's getting quite impatient, I think. Now, on the side, we've got this here and it flips when you turn the knob and this other little Technic piece down here and now we need what is in this box. We need one of the rubber bands. So if we put that over the knob and over there, it makes it flick, look at that, in a controlled fashion. So if we put a crab on here, shut the lid, oh, it's gone, like magic. We can put another one here. So it goes from cooked to uncooked. Not certain which one's cooked and which one's uncooked. Does it go darker when it's cooked? Does it go lighter when it's cooked? I'm not certain which one's supposed to be which, but it is so cool that you can flip it <laughs> and it mysteriously just cooks. That's such a clever little implementation in this set. There are so many pieces like this and we are building another one of those cool, cool features now. So at the moment we've got smooth things, smooth long pieces and another one of the bands. It goes on like that. So we've got a pushing implement there. I'm using the word implement a lot today. And we've built up a bit of a brick vault at the front. And that's going to just hold it nice and steady. And if we click this in beside the crab kitchen, it actually has nothing to do with the crab kitchen whatsoever. We can use it to poke over the mini dolls. Whoop! <laughs> She has no idea what just happened. Now the mini dolls have come to visit this set because they look anime to me. I've dressed them up appropriately so that they kind of blend in. They look pretty funky and just a little bit strange and quirky just like this set and I think they suit it quite well. Now here's a crab sign which has AB on it in the Ninjago alphabet. Not certain why. Don't know what the AB stands for. 
Maybe you could tell me. Now, over here are some tools for Severin to use with his crab pre preparation. A massive mallet and a, a grindy cutty thing and a big, <laughs> a big, big hammer and a pan, possibly for hitting the crab when it tries to crawl away. So, <laughs> or for cooking it. I don't know, you choose. So for preparing the crab here, he can, he can whap it with that hammer and we'll put our first customer in here waiting for a crab. I hope that's the cooked one because I don't know that raw crab is particularly good for you. And we're up to bag number eight. Severin has his crab kitchen. <laughs> We've got so much still to do. And I have missed one piece, one very important piece from bag seven, just goes underneath there. So now we are done. We're up to bag number eight and the next minifigure, each of these bags has a minifigure. Now this guy here has got a Galador t-shirt. He looks like he might be a bit of a geek. He is, he's the comic book guy from The Simpsons with the pigtail at the back. He's not actually, this is Mother Doomsday, but he is the comic book guy for this set, for Ninjago. He is in charge of the comic book store. So let's build him a comic book store with all of the cool little nerdy features that I love so much inside. Ah, uh, wait, there we go. Okay, over here on this shelf is the first of the things you can buy. These are so cool. These are like micro minifigures and they're supposed to be action figures or collectible, I don't know, like anime figures. And there are more to go, but we've got the first three. Now we've got some display shelves and on these display shelves, we need to put all of these little tiles with stickers on them. So trading cards, these are. So here's our first one. These will all have some sort of reference to something that I don't know half of what they are. You're welcome to tell me. I love to learn new things about Lego, but I don't know who's the all red guy. Is he someone important? Could he be the Flash? I don't know. This one looks like it might be she -Ra. Do you reckon it's she <laughs> I'm just making it up. I really have no idea. And this one's definitely Unikitty. So I got one out of four. There. So those are some trading cards. We're going to put them over here and they're on the little jumper studs. So we'll be able to pull that out if we want to at any stage, which is very cool. Now he needs some more bright orange walls. Up, up, up we go. So he's got this tiny little bookshop, uh, comic shop, and now he's got some comics and they all are Starfarer. It must be the special of the month and you can only have them if you are eight plus. So we'll put them over here in the shelves and they're all shiny. The gold is all shiny. Now we get some more of these action figures. So we got blue, silver, black. Now we're getting red, green and white. I wonder which one you will want. Which one does everybody want? Or different ones? Or maybe you could collect them all. So we'll put Mother Doomsday over here in his little space behind, <laughs> behind the counter. It's very small space. And now we've got some more of those trading cards. So let's see what we might have here. No idea. That one kind of looks like a cowboy. And this one is somebody red with bright yellow crazy hair. And this one is definitely Asian in flavor. I don't know who that is. And this one looks like, okay, no idea. All right, let's put them over here. So eight trading cards to collect. Oh, this is such a great little curiosities shop. What else are we going to fit in here? I don't know. We need some more walls and oh, and some piping oh, for the air conditioning units. And there's actually green dripping at the bottom. So because it's always wet, there's a bit of growth that comes out of the bottom. That's so cool. And on the window, it says sale 40%, 20%, 70%, 50%. Everything is always on sale in the comic shop. And our door goes inwards and it's the first of these cool little handles using those pie pieces. How awesome does that look? So the comic shop is done on the inside and we've got a little smoothed over area on the top and it comes in slots in here next to there. I think that's right. That looks good. Okay. Now we've got a big Technic piece here. and some stairs going up.
and oh, I'm trying to figure out what, what we were doing here. So this hasn't got anything to do with the comic book shop. This is the extension of our elevator shaft. So anybody from the ground floor, there's our control panel, will be able to move all the way up to our next level, back up to street level. Why is there a door just floating there in the middle of nowhere? I suppose we will find out. There are so many quirky details. It's so much fun to build. I really hope you're enjoying the build with me. I've never had so much fun building a set before in my life. It is just not repetitive. It is interesting. The colors are cool. It's just, yeah, it's fantastic. So this goes over there. So there's a little stone pathway up beside the crab kitchen. And now we need our elevatory thingy things. That's their technical name. And that goes on here and we need the smooth one on the other side and now we're up to bag number nine But I've got this piece left again big massive piece So it's not a spare and it belongs in here right in the middle of the elevator shaft. So there we go That's all fixed up now bag number nine in here. Oh, who's this guy? He's got a pink hoodie and sunglasses. He's pretty cool ah, This is guy that's actually his name. And he has got $200 notes, so he is a big spender. He's going to wander off to the comic shop and see what he can buy in there while we continue building. And now we need to extend out the street level, the walking area out the front of these businesses, out the front of the shops. So there's actually somewhere to walk from one to the next, like a little pathway. Well, it is a pathway. So there's one on that side and an almost matching one for, for the other side. And this one's going to tie them all together and go around the corner. If I can put ah, the right ones on in the right spot there, but that doesn't fit. Why does that not fit? That should fit. I've done something wrong. Oh, look at that. I just had that round the wrong way. Now there'll be space for it to fit. Ah, there we go. Now it's perfect. Oh goodness, that was frustrating. Okay, looks like we've got customers in the comic shop, which is very exciting. And Guy is just standing there with his money while we continue our walkway. And now we have a yellow lever and an arrow with the word film written on it. Well, films written on our little sign. And there's our door to nowhere. Remember that's on the side of the elevator shaft. So what's that door going to do? Let's see. We've got some cool little decoration going on over here. More little yellow dots. Oh, that looks fantastic. So that, okay. Our little lever goes in behind there. And we'll smooth over the top. Ah, oh, look at this. Massive posters. So this one is Shadow of Ronan, Ninjago. So they're movie posters. This one is Return of the Brick Separator. And this one looks like it might be an advertisement for cars. Tired of walking? Cars. 40,000 whatever currency we have in Ninjago land. And coming soon, Galador. <laughs> to movie theatre near you. Now we can slide one in here. We could put Galador in or our ad or the Return of the Brick Separator, which is my favourite. And we can tuck all the rest in here behind the door. And when we want to access them, you just open the door and push the lever. That is so cool. But just wait. There's more cool here. We've got all of these hundred dollar notes or tiles and we are busy tiling them all up here. And now, <laughs> do you remember that pushy thing that we had that was kind of green and we used it to push over the mini doll? Well, that's what we're about to use now. So here we have got an ATM, an automatic teller machine. And we just need to get some roundy bits over the top. This one says bank, something bank, and it goes in front here. And when I push, hold on, when I push this, I'm actually supposed to get a hundred dollar bill coming out. That's all working. Oh, I had it in the wrong spot. <laughs> no wonder it didn't work. Look at all that money just piling out of the ATM. Look, so when we push this, 
a hundred dollar night comes out each time. I wish it worked like that in real life. <laughs> Look at that, we've run out of money. So when we run out, we just stack it all back in again. And we put the front of the ATM back on and guys over here going, whoa, look at all the money. Okay, okay. We're just gonna leave all those $100 notes tumbled out there on the street while we make our crab kitchen look absolutely schmicko and just fantastic. Lots of gold and red and brown and some very cool features. So lots of little black windows there, little tiled black windows. This is a very traditional looking kitchen or restaurant and a corner door with a red pie piece for the handle, some big red columns, so it's very fancy looking. And this is so cool, check this out. We are filling that clear pillar, look at that, with smooth studs. And look, how awesome does that look? <laughs> that is just a design masterpiece that excites me so much. Who thought of that? Who has the brain to think of something like that? It looks spectacular. It's so cool. Okay, <laughs> I need to stop geeking out here and I need to keep building, but it just is so exciting. That looks fantastic. The crab kitchen looks absolutely fantastic. Now, what else do we need up here? We need to just finish up, finish up the building. And this here is an air conditioning unit. Yes. Or an exhaust fan. It might be an exhaust fan. We got two of them. Oh no, I reckon they're air conditioning. You'd need air conditioning. So smoothing over the top so that we can put another level on top because Ninjago City is all just built on top on on top of on top of on top of itself up and up and up each time you think of a new building you just add a new one to it there we're up to bag number 10 and we meet our next minifigure this little guy his name is Tommy and he is the Green Ninja's biggest fan he loves the Green Ninja and look oh no hold on that's the Red Ninja so, oh, sad face. He wasn't interested in the Red Ninja. Poor Kai. He can go back over there and have some $100 notes. And poor little Tommy, he can just stay here with his sad face. But we won't tell him that the Green Ninja's actually coming later. That'll cheer him up. So, next up we're building something weird. There is a yellow frog here. There is a purple brick and some sort of trophy type thing and a jewel. Oh, these are... Oh, and, and a laser gun kind of like a like a space age alien type gun. This is the top of the comic store. These are all shelves high up on the wall and now we get the most amazing feature. Look at these single white studs. They've got black printed in the middle of them. They've all got black printed in the middle of them even if it's not facing the front. So they are actually making, can you see in the background we've made an S and oh what's that? That's going to be on the inside and now we've made something I don't know what it is we'll find out as it goes along and look at this look at that cool little O with the little cat's ears on it hold on oh, when I found this piece we'll turn it around again there look at that and that goes see I've done something wrong there that goes there <laughs> and all of these are making have you figured out what the word is yet it goes above the comic shop and look, that made an M, that little drippy white piece. That's so clever. The little angled white piece. And I'm just missing a piece here. And look, it says comics. Yeah, Tommy is excited. I am excited too. That is <laughs> absolutely amazing. Now I think we're making another air conditioning unit, maybe? Yes, more air conditioning. These little rooms will all get very, very hot. And another little pipe over there. And oh, this is going to sit on top of our existing comic shop. And you can take it off if you want to access the comic shop on the inside. Oh, look at this poster. This is hanging on the wall. Believe it's that kitty that's hanging from, well, actually nothing there. It's supposed to be hanging from a tree branch, I think. At the moment, it's just hanging in midair. <laughs> and that's on the wall of the comic shop. <laughs> that's so cute. Okay, so we put it up here. 
and then those pipes all match up at the back and the comic shop has got the most groovy sign I have ever seen. Okay, what are we building next? This has all been ever so exciting. Looks like the front to a car. Oh, not anymore. Oh, it's a crab! It's the it's a crab for the top of the crab kitchen for the front entryway and we can angle it kind of up or down we can make oh that's so cool oh, <laughs> this is just so exciting all right some railings so that people don't just fall off this street level when we put it on top of our old world level so a bit of safety here good idea we'll move sweep over and have I done something wrong here yeah, no, I haven't actually. No, that's supposed to be like that. These ones with the claws on them go here on the corner. And we have another set over here with claws on the bottom because that means that we can tip it down when we want to access the ATM. That's really great thinking. Lots and lots of lanterns. These are going to make the most beautiful decoration. <laughs> Did I say lots and lots? Lots and lots. So where do these go? So some hang from down here, none on the corner, all there, and a couple up here for the crab kitchen. <laughs> That's phenomenal. All right, now we have some more decoration actually advertising along our railings. So there's a surfboard here, and that looks so slick. And here on this next one we've got, these are all these are all little Lego jokes which I don't really understand. So there's Trilobite and the RR stands for something. Don't know what. They're all advertising. And this one here is going to be a bit different. Got our little white circle clipped in the middle. And over this, this one's an advertisement for Borg Industries, if I've read the Ninjago alphabet correctly. And this one here... All city and on the other side some sort of cool logo for something but look how awesome they look lining those railings and this one dragon power I reckon that's a drink what do you reckon and this one is is that one robotics I think that one was something 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 robotics and this one here is advertising. It says comics. And to go on the end, this is the cutest thing ever. Check this out. These blue boomerangs, when I put them in the right, the right, uh, right place, with, <laughs> with a bullseye in the middle, kind of looks like a little man when I angle it like that with his arms sticking out and I don't know what it is it'll be a logo of some sort but it is extremely cute they're sitting on the end of the railings now for the little the little corner railing keep trying to say side the little corner railing that's here right in front of the crab kitchen it gets two of these backpacky type things and a hat and look at that and it also tilts down kind of it looks phenomenal it just looks so so good so the railings are all done now we've got one of our little grill grill walkways and it's going to go up here across from this level here on the top of our elevator and it looks like our elevator is finally getting the elevatory bit the bit the lift bit the bit that they can stand on and go up and down on. So let's put that in. There, check it out. Who's going to have a go on this first? Here we go. Whoop. So it's not too far to go yet, but that's taken us to the first level. And now we're going to stack this on top of the old world level. And it fits so well we'll make sure that the lift is all lined up properly oh, hold on we're getting stuck there we're not quite put in properly well, let me give that a bit more of a squish down 
and we'll try again there we are now it's good so that lift is going to be so cool and go all the way to the top now <laughs> we have not finished not by any stretch of the imagination we're up to bag number 11 we still have got well a whole heap of bags left to go but look at what we have achieved so far so many layers of awesome already you're gonna to have to join me for another video I'm sorry to break it up but I really wanted to show you all of the details in this build because it really is the most fun I've ever had building so join me for the next video I promise it will finish it up and <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you are enjoying these Ninjago City builds they are so cool and I'll see you with the next part very very soon I promise <laughs>